Why, hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Bellright. People wanted to see more of this game, I wanted to play it more, so here we are. So guys, at this point, I have only, what, 32 hours left until the end of this playtest. There's not a lot of time left and I want to get as much out of this game as humanly possible in the time we have left. So, I really want to do, in these coming videos, some village liberations. We can start a rebellion against the king, or queen, so I say. We can try and take over their territory, attack the brigands, hostile force, and maybe even take on their big old castle at some point. Now, I'm not sure how much of content is actually in this game for that kind of thing, but I think it might be available, and we're going to do our best to get as far as possible. For now, though, you may notice if you've got a keen eye, that I've actually moved our entire base. Well, it turns out where I was yesterday wasn't exactly too great. It was missing a lot of stuff. I ended up playing loads in my separate save last night. I was like, oh my God, this game's great. I love it. <laughs> uh, which kind of led me to learn a few things. Mostly that a lot of resources like river reeds we need for like making clothing or like metals so making ore and weapons were not over there. So I've moved everything down this way a little bit. So we're going to start our village here. Now what I've done, I've actually purposely built exactly the same stuff as I had last time apart from I have two more chests so I haven't gone ahead and played loads I've literally just moved my base from one place to another so what do we do first well at the moment we haven't really got a lot unlocked we can do a few basic things with these chests and we have a single villager but if we go into this research menu we can see we can start unlocking more stuff on the old tech tree of which there's a lot of stuff <laughs> definitely a lot of stuff so first things first I wanted to make a logging camp and a foraging camp. This will allow them to start automatically collecting resources for me so I can become lazy and just get really fat. So the plan's gonna be, I'm gonna help out here. I've got to get myself some berries, crew stone and mushrooms, and then my man can start just researching it and I can put it down somewhere. So in that vein, let's go off and get some resources. I've also got to do a ton of stuff as well with the main missions back at the village, which is like that way somewhere. Now I will say it is a bit far away, uh, probably movement makes a little bit, but eventually you can actually unlock fast travel points and stuff You can just use to teleport around the map, but that's in the future not right now So what I need I think I need um, five berries if I'm correct and also a bunch of mushrooms and stuff now I should probably eat some of these first because uh, <laughs> Without any food. I'm pretty slow and just awful at pretty much every single thing in the game So we'll eat a berry and a mushroom which will hopefully increase my stats a little bit so we can do more things now I'm not 100% certain exactly what the foods do, but they definitely do something. <laughs> I think without food, you have like um, slower attack speeds, movement speeds, stamina speeds. Basically, everything you can think of has been reduced. So it's probably a good idea to keep that up as soon as possible. And it also affects my companions and stuff as well. Let's have a look around. So I'm kind of curious. What is my friend doing if he hasn't got any jobs right now? Is he just wandering around? I think he is. <laughs> Sorry, right, don't mind me, sir. I'm just living my life away, doing absolutely nothing. Idle citizen. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? It's okay. We're whipping him into shape. We'll get him some work. We'll get him lumberjacking or something, and he can uh, pull his weight in the old village here. Oh, is that your nearby enemy camp over there? I'm not going to try and attack it with my... Wait, actually, we will try and attack it. Get over here, buddy. I summon ye. It's two verse two. We can do this. Now, of course, I have learned over my last few hours that fighting 1v2 or 1v3 is actually a pretty much a horrifying experience. So if we have some friends helping us out, we'll make life a lot easier for sure. Now, when he gets here, we'll try and do a little bit of a fight there. A killing bandit camps is pretty good so far because you can get like some cool resources. At one point, I found a giant sledgehammer on my single play. It was amazing, guys. Uh, having sledgehammers is pretty damn fun. So my guys have shown up. Hey, buddy, are you ready to declare war on the bandit threat threatening our new rebellion? Of course you are. Let's go. Actually, let's use the blunt club instead. So hopefully they haven't got a bow and arrow because they hit like a truck. <laughs> are you ready? Get him! This guy has a sad chance. I don't know where his friends got. Oh, there he is. I don't want to get knocked out because I have to respawn otherwise. Finish him! Good stuff, buddy. Raid threat increased 94%. Oh, okay, so I kind of generate threat in the game, which means I get attacked at my base, which is bad. <laughs> believe it or not. So we want to keep an eye on that because when it does happen, we're going to go and get attacked by a bunch of dudes at some point. 
Okay, so this bandit camp has been slain. So we get some loot, simple arrows, strap. Wait, have I not got any inventory? Oh no! I've got loads of stuff already. My friend, can you take some of this back to camp, please? Uh, what do we need for the. Okay, I'll get him to take this stuff. He will just put it somewhere back in camp. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you later. Okay. Oh no, arrows are super big. I won't be able to hold this, I don't think. Um, that's annoying. It is what it is, I guess. Knowledge books. So these are pretty cool. It basically is like a one-off thing you could use that improves your skills in different fields. We just got ones for shield, novice. So just to show people how it works, if I go over here and I can now see, I have a highlighted shield icon. So I press a button. I then start reading the book, and after a set amount of time, I will then get myself some more experience in regards to it. Uh, now, let's try and get rid of some stuff here. I want to try and fit in these arrows, because, uh, perfect. <laughs> I like how the inventory moves itself around, because otherwise it would be a pain trying to figure all this stuff out. Uh, yeah, so I know for a sure there is, of course, bows in the game, so you want to become an archer as soon as possible, because I like being a character with a cool, like, ranger get-up. Big old bow, big old two-handed sword. It's going to be pretty cool when I get there. But not yet. I will also say that I can actually help out some of my guys by giving them these books. But I'll wait until we find some, like, higher potential allies. I think this guy gets to level 4 or something. But you can get level 10 potential dudes. I want them to have the equipment they need. What's this? Bandit's note. This new guy thought he was so clever, joining us and setting us up for the brigand's trap. Pathetic. Oh, how much fun we had toying with him instead. It's just a shame that the rat ran away, but we'll get him. He's bound to come back for our loot. Okay, so apparently he has a whole thing going on there. I will point out, I actually picked up X Bandit Loot quest item. Gold that you found in Bandit Camp. Looks like it belongs to someone. So I guess at some point we might come across the said person they're talking about and maybe we can give them their money back or something. I'm not really sure. All I do know is I'll probably keep this for now in my good old personal base and we'll go from there. Now I've also got a bunch of other stuff as well but I want to keep my inventory a bit clean just so we have stuff we can try and sort out here. As for now though, let's go back over here. Okay, let's see. I need, what is it, five of these. I've got six. Five of those. And I need a little bit more rocks. So hopefully we can find some rocks near here. By the way, this is... What is this? Tin. So we can use this when we get the ability later on to start just building stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. Especially when we get our guys equipped with like super weapons. Like big old swords, armor, that kind of thing. It's going to be pretty awesome. Oh! Aha! All of a sudden I've realized there's rocks absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Perfect! I should probably collect another three because I'm also trying to build a campfire, which means we can start cooking food and stuff. And guys, if you cook food, it lasts so much longer. It's it's not even comparable. It's absolutely insane. I will point out, though, that uh, <laughs> don't eat raw meat. It's not a good idea. I know that probably goes without saying, but of course I had to try it for science, and uh, yeah, not a good idea. Anyway, so those guys are ready, and he should now just do his job over time. In 46 seconds, we will have the ability to start building some more buildings. Oh, requires wood. Okay. Let's go and get some wood, shall we? Don't mind me, friends. So let's figure this out quickly. So wood is not from the logs. It's for the smaller things. So if we find some... Ah, over here. This should give me quite a bit of wood. Perfect. Nice. So as this place is pretty... Oh, is that something on the radar right now? I think that's a wolf or something. Gotta be careful. I'm not going to kill the wolves yet. Because you actually get a mission to go and kill them. <laughs> so... I'd rather wait, get the mission reward, then go and do it. Because otherwise it may not count and I have to go further away to find some wolves. Ah, foraging cap has been unlocked. Perfect. Okay, can you build this while I'm busy? And what we'll do is set him up now to start making the next thing, which is a logging cap, which will require free wood and one, what? Some kind of log. I'm not really sure what's going on there. <laughs> Just free wood. Fair enough. So we've already got one. I'll find some more in a second. I think he should, in theory, auto-research first. Yeah, I put him on priorities yesterday, didn't I, if you guys remember. So he's currently got maximum priority on the old research. So I'll build this myself. Uh, what am I missing? 
I feel like I can now go and build a campfire in real life. There you go, cool. So this thing requires some wood. And also it requires just you to put something on there. Over time it would actually cook and then you can just watch it as it just comes through in, into fruition. So, campfire, yes. I'm going to go and build a foraging camp. Let's look at the map quickly. We want to build this stuff probably near the forest. So the foraging camp is going to be used for a lot of things. It's also going to be going to the nearby rivers to get like uh, river reeds and stuff. So I'm actually going to go and build it probably over here. As far as I can tell, by the way, there doesn't seem to be a limit on how big you can build these camps. So I can very just build a camp that is the entire map. <laughs> That would be probably a bit stupid, though, but also very interesting. I can't imagine the FPS at that point. It'd probably be a bit of a nightmare. Okay, foraging game. I'll put it next to this house here. Done. How's it going, buddy? And what else can we do? So we also need to bring three small traps to the fella back at the camp. So what I might do... After I set down the foundation for him to start making some other stuff... Uh, what is it? Just needs two wood. We we'll quickly build the stuff he needs right now. So we get the foraging camp online, and we're also then go and get the logging camp online. So that means I can leave him alone, and he will automatically collect items required for future endeavors. Once that's happened, I'll run off and I'll start doing quests for the old uh, village elder far, far away, so we can progress through the story and get some more villagers. Oh wait, what's this? Seems to be a destroyed wagon or something over here. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so I think I have noticed that is pretty cool. As you kill bandits or kind of do quests and stuff, you, on the top left of the screen, you can see you got like a, well, a bell <laughs> with a sword in the middle of it, their logo. And I got 187 out of 240. That's kind of like your renown, which is pretty cool because it's uh, kind of like Medieval Dynasty, where I think in that one you had like 50 renown as one villager. This doesn't work this way in this game. You recruit dudes using Renown, but if you get like a beggar, they could be worth like 50 points, or you can get like a novice blacksmith like 350. So it's kind of based off the quality of guys you can have in your village. It's pretty awesome, I like it. Anyway, uh, so I've got what I need here. Don't mind me, friend, let me just put this down. Build what I want you to build. Return back to work. And I'll start building this fella. So what do we require to build this foraging hut? Tons of wood. Tons of logs and tons of flax. Okay, fair enough. Luckily for us, there happens to be stuff right next to us, so we can start smashing that out right away. I haven't actually managed to uh, kill myself with a tree yet, though yesterday I managed to get one to land on me and the game crashed, so I'm not sure if that technically counts. <laughs> Basically, I learnt my lesson. I probably should be staying the hell away from trees as they fall down while playing this game. It doesn't seem a very safe thing to do. Uh, also, I'll point out this guy wants a pelt. I don't know if we have any in storage. Let's have a look. Settlement, storage. We have no pelts at all, which is a bit of a problem. So, ah, that was very quick, my friend. There is probably a one more building I really want to get, but I can make him build it as I'm not here. The last one I want to try and grab is going to be the storage, everybody. Storage is great. It's a big old warehouse building you can put down, and it has, I think, 400 space. And a chest only has 50, so it's a giant step up in that regard. So this requires 5 logs and also 5 crude stone. So quite the amount of resources, to say the least. Okay, I'm actually going to put the logging camp down as well. I'm going to put it a bit far away. No, no, it'd be fine. Just put it near here. Because they kind of use this as a base. So this is kind of their entry into the village and they go out elsewhere to do things. So put this down here. And I'll probably build this first, so we can get him to start helping out with construction and stuff. Because right now, he just doesn't really do much without any orders, so we've got to get that sorted out. Let me just cut this down. Cool. Now, this isn't going to be permanent, of course. If we need to change stuff around, we can. I think, as well, you get better versions of these buildings as you play the game anyway, so... Oh, God, find out, buddy! <laughs> Funny if it, like, auto-equipped onto the construction thing there. That'd been pretty awesome. Also, I just want to point out, I've been doing this by myself. I just realized I can ask him to help me do it. <laughs> Damn it, me. Where are you, Lubna? Get over here, buddy. Wait, are those bandits over there? Okay, we, we have a second charge, my friend. We must go to war. I kill every bandit I come across because of the renown thing. I mean, it's just generally a good idea, right? You get more resource, renown points, and get more people. Makes things a lot quicker. Oh, no. Here's a shield. 
this could be a bit of a problem. Shield guys are an absolute nightmare, but at the same time, guys, if we kill him, we could get his shield. Are you are you here, buddy? One at a time, one at a time. He's not gonna last long against that guy. Shields are pretty powerful. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, he's got like an axe. He's got like a bit of armor as well. Oh, he's gonna die. No, don't die. No. Oh, damn it. Well, I'll pay for that. Okay, so my plan of having my guy run around helping me hasn't really worked out. He's been knocked down. Not good. So we get ourselves some cooked mushrooms, which are vastly superior. We also got ourselves some more straps, a novice book, ooh, and a research. Very interesting. Okay, I'll take all these for now. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. Why has this happened to you? I will say, I don't know if I can rename my villagers, mostly because I don't know if it's possible, to be honest. I wish I could. If there's a way of doing it, I don't understand it. I do apologize, but no, <laughs> not a raid. <laughs> We're going to have to use some cheese to win this one, guys. I had to use cheese yesterday, amply applied, to win these raids. When I got attacked by a raid the first time last time, I got attacked by three guys, two shirtless dudes, and one shield guy. Oh, God, it was awful. We'll, we'll see what happens. When they come over, if I have to apply ample cheese, we will find out how that works when we get there. As for now, though, I have got myself some equipment and stuff. I will... Ooh, what do we want to do here? I'll keep the bandages on me, because they can be pretty handy. And we'll quickly dump all these resources in the re respective chests. Oh, that's the wrong way around. What am I doing? Sorry, just, I'm failing at life right now, normally. Okay, food there. Resources here. And I'll put equipment and stuff in this fella, but I'll keep one of them with me. Done. So what I've done, you can actually super customize chests. It, I actually love it. It's great. <laughs> so you've got equipment, resources, and food ration, right? Depending on what goes inside. You can go even further and be like every single item you've unlocked, you can do minimum maximums. Oh my god, guys. It's amazing. Uh, when I played a demo last time, it was literally just food, resource, and equipment generally. And you had like one base next to a logging camp of like 100 flax. And then the logging camp had loads of like other stuff. It was just all over the place. <laughs> so I think that's pretty Pretty cool. Anyway, let's have a look. So, what is this, by the way? Dried berries. I'll eat those as well. I'll take it all. Thank you very much. Okay, that's what I was doing, though, before we got distracted and went off to kill a random guy. So, I still need more stuff over here, then. So, let's go and cut down some more trees and whatnot. And then we can make on our way. I don't know how long it'd take for that guy to respawn. Hopefully, it'll be kind of soon. I mean, to be fair, I can also just put down the resources, leave, and then just let him build the stuff for me. But I want to go and give him some work orders, so we'll go from there first. Oh, oh. oh that's only one log? Ah, oh, I swear, swear that's going to be two. Two more. Okay, I got the space though. These coins, by the way, I can go and sell to the village elders. And it gives you like a ton. Should we cut down this big ass tree? Can I cut down the big ass tree? Yes, I can. <laughs> if this provides me one log, I'm going to be pissed. I'm just going to put out there, guys. This, this should at least be three logs. Let's keep cutting down. Yeah, if you go to the village and sell them coins, you can also sell them the wolf fangs. You get relations with that particular village, which is pretty handy. Oh my god, it's huge. I feel like my house is... I could put a house inside this log at this point. I need to just have like a capsule house. Are you still dead on the road? Ah, oh, he's still sleeping. It's merely a flesh wound. Don't worry about it. He'll get up eventually. Okay, so we got our three logs, which is good to see. So I think I need to get the other one in here as well. And then at least log-wise, this logging camp has got what it needs. And we just need to get the flax and other stuff as well. Oh, wait, no, I'm wrong, sorry. Okay, cool. So, I just go and get the flax and the wood. I will point out, by the way, leaving that log there isn't a problem because at some point... Oh, that's not a normal... Wait. There's a... Oh, there's multiple of them. It's probably not a good idea going that way. I feel like that would be a quick death. 
Yeah, anyway, so once they start gathering, they will just go and pick up that log themselves. So we haven't got to worry about it too much. It should be pretty much under control, which is good to see. Let's keep cutting this stuff down. So what I need again, was it 12 wood or was it 11? Something like that. We'll get 12 just to be safe. Also need to get the flax as well. So I think I need 10 flax. Luckily, this place is absolutely ripe with trees and stuff we can cut down, which is great to see. Unfortunately, my inventory is a bit limited, though. Uh, I will say there is a possibility that we can go and craft a bag, which will increase our capacity by an unknown margin. I say unknown because I haven't done it yet, so I don't know how much it goes in there, but it's going to probably increase it by a amount, to say the least. So let me just make sure I get enough flax here. I might have to dump these random seeds. I guess they'll be handy one day when we start farming, but that day is not today, so it's just kind of just in the way at the moment. Get rid of all these. Don't mind me, friend. And I think that should be enough to at least build the logging camp. And so it's getting a bit dark, isn't it? Day four. Oh yeah, it's already 8.30. That's not good, is it? So something I did know about, after a certain amount of days, winter starts. And when winter starts, guys, oh, it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> uh, oh no, am I going to be one short? No, it's okay, cool. It's going to be a bit of a pain because you can't collect certain resources in that time frame. <laughs> I didn't know this when I was playing yesterday. So I was running around trying to collect uh, river, river reeds for ages. And it just flat out didn't happen. I had to wait for like four days for winter to stop. So I want to try and avoid that if we can. Okay, here's our looking camp. So what I can do here, I can set objectives and stuff. Now what I'll do... How do you want to do with, deal with this? Okay, I'm going to do wood... Both of them. I want to probably carry with me 50 wood. This is across the camp, by the way. And I'm going to have 10 spare locks. We should probably make them get the wood first. Although, I honestly, I'm not really sure if priority 1 to 5 means higher priority or lower priority. So, I have to see what he does first. Hopefully, he does what I want him to do. Okay, with that out of the way, let's have a look over here. I needed loads of stuff here as well. Damn, that's a lot of resources required. It's okay. So let's go and sleep anyway throughout the night and we'll see how things go. I believe he should respawn for sure overnight, but we'll have to find out in a second. Wait, what? Oh, am I being attacked right now? Wait, there's combat music. There is definitely combat mu music. Hi! Uh, do, do they want to kill me? I'm not really sure what's going on. I think we're okay. I don't really want to try and fight them at the moment because I haven't got the uh, things I need. He's injured, right? Yeah, I think bringing him into combat would be a bad idea. So we'll leave him be. I'm going to let those guys go for now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's carry on doing what I was doing. Now, I think I haven't done this because I changed this over. I got a reset up of a simple workbench thing. So I want to maintain my colony. we do this first. Make that one first, buddy. So I want to maintain five axes. I want to maintain two clubs so we can give it to people if we're going into combat. And probably some torches. I've not used a torch myself, but it might be handy one day, right? For guards or something? I'm not really certain. And finally, we will maintain five traps, which we could use in the future. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some wood for myself. And I'm going to just make some traps now and put them down nearby. That means we'll start generating uh, like stuff like pelts, uh, food we can use to get like a super boost to our just food ratings. Basically, it's a guide in. So yeah, I'm going to try and get that done as soon as possible. For now, I'm going to put down two traps because I have to maintain them myself. But later on, the tech tree, you can get a hunting cabin, which will automatically collect resources and traps and replace them with baits and also just general things as well. You're alive, my friend. How are you doing? Oh, I think he's wounded. Oh, I can bandage him. Don't do that. It's a waste of... Re <laughs> what have I done to the game? Oh, no. It's okay. Oh, I fixed it. It's fine. Oh, for fun, if I played the rest of the day with it like that, that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, anyway, let's go and put myself down some traps. I need one more. I'm just going to get one more bit of wood first. This bit over here. Perfect. Cool.
Oh, he's already collected eight wood in like a few seconds. <laughs> Guy's a badass. He's pretty good at his job. Now, the problem with this is going to be we're not going to have enough room to actually put it anywhere because I've only got 50 slots in my resource storage. So I really try and get that big storage thing built up as well. But at least it's a start, right? He will start collecting stuff for our people. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but we're about to finish this trap. This will get faster as you level up. So it's just a matter of keep doing it and we we'll become stronger over time. And... Done! Okay, perfect. Actually, stat-wise, how am I doing? So I get a chance of 6% more resourceable harvesting. Crafting is just slow. <laughs> just, just slow, guys. In fact, should I use some of these books on myself? Oh, they're back in my base, aren't they? I was just wondering because uh, maybe I could just make myself a super unit quite early on. I have seen, by the way, certain items require skill levels. For instance, that big wooden plank shield requires at least one strength, which some people don't have, by the way. So, um... It's worth noting that. I might have to get high-level guys to have high-level equipment. Cut that tree down, buddy. I, I know... <laughs> I gotta stop fanboy. I, this is why I like this game so much. So, there's other games that are similar, yes. I'm not gonna pretend otherwise. But they actually go and do things. Like, they actually physically go collect resources. Physically walk them back to the camp. I think it's awesome. If you just have, like, some random menu with, like, ticks every, like, 30 minutes in game, you get given resources. It's not the same, guys. This is, like, them actually doing stuff. I, I love it. Anyway, let's put down my trap, shall we? Oh, you lose. It says it has to be in a forest area, right? So really anywhere around here would be fine. I'll put one here. And I don't think distance matters, because I had six in a big row last time, and it was fine. So, okay, that's my two baits. I gotta find some berries. Ah, there you go. And then we have to come and check back here later in the video. And let's see if we get ourselves some dead rabbits, which would be pretty handy. I like how on the screen it appears with a giant rabbit picture as well. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Trap two, trap three. Okay. I wanna build this one. Next one nice. So let's have a look. So what do we require? I think it's gonna be more logs and stuff again. Flax, logs. Okay. What I'll do. I'll get the flax, I'll leave, I'll let the AI deal with it. Then we're going to go and focus on doing the quest objectives and stuff. Thinking about it though, it's going to be a bit of a problem trying to get the pelt because we have to wait for some time until that thing dies. <laughs> the traps need to actually catch a rabbit to get a chance. Oh wait, I'm wrong guys. We can go and kill a wolf. That would also give us a pelt. Okay, that's going to be the plan. I know there's one already. <laughs> so when you kill wolves, I tend to either get like meat, fangs, or pelts. So hopefully we get lucky and get the drop I need. I'm pretty sure it's pretty random though. I'm not sure if there's a way of making it so you get more pelts or something from killing things. I, I honestly can't tell you guys at this point. Okay, I'm pretty sure the wolf has migrated away because I can't see it anywhere right now. Oh, wait, down there. This is perfect as well, because it gives me a chance to get some river reeds, which we need before winter starts tomorrow. So it is something I have to get done very quickly. Oh, okay. I'm not really trying to block these, I'm just going to spam attack it and just take it down. There you go. Ejector completed. <laughs> Fair enough. That was pretty easy. I got what I wanted the first time, we can move back on. Okay, well, I should go to the river though. So there's quite a few quests that require you to get river reeds, which is going to be important because we're going to carry on playing the game, right? So I think I've got to get at least 13. So what I'll probably do, I'll get a full inventory of them. There's more wolves. I should kill these as well. They're everywhere. Okay, here it comes. Oh, I messed up. Ow. Luckily, these guys aren't very dangerous. Or, um, though I say that, one wolf killed two villagers when I was playing yesterday, last night. So, it's possible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be collecting quite a few of these. I should probably... No, we'll even be... I was going to say I could bring over my companion and help me uh, fast track all this. But I think it'd be fine. Look how pretty this is, though. Is there seriously that many wolves in this one area? Wait, what is it in the water? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, it's over there. I can see it now. Sorry. I was like, is there some kind of crocodile or something? 
<laughs> that would be a bit of an unfortunate situation. Uh oh. Attack! Oh! Could you actually kill a wolf with a club? Would it not take a long... Well, you'll probably die, just to be honest here. <laughs> It's not a video game in real life. You'll probably just flat out die and that'll be it. Oh, not again! Nine. That wasn't good momentum there, guys. We need more momentum. Great. I feel like I... <laughs> One, two... What is this? Six. Oh, we have enough, I think. But I'll just get a little bit more if I can. We'll kill the one over here so I can get the ones on the top of the... The location. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, it'd be cool if they add, like, teaming at some point. So I can have, like, pet wolves. Oh, no! This is bad. There's going to be a raid and I'm already wounded from killing all these random things. Okay. I'm on my way back, buddy. Don't worry. Go, go, go! How far away is it? Okay, it's coming from a nearby bandit camp. This might be a bad situation. I don't know if we can do it, to be honest. I'm already wounded. I can heal myself with a bandage, though. The only other way is sleeping. So, wait a then. Okay, there you go. Is that all it did? Oh. Okay, we're just going to have to try our best. As we've only got one villager... Hopefully the game is merciful and it only spawns in two guys. If it's three guys, I don't know what to do. We have to become a cheese lord. Uh, we have to see as time goes on. I also point out my weapons are pretty damaged right now, so might be a problem. Oh, you're crafting. Oh, he's wounded. Can I, can I even call him into combat? I can, I can. If you get wounded while already being wounded, I think you could potentially die. So, to be honest, I'd rather that he just not be in the battle at all. Um, I'll have to see how things go. Okay, first things first. Let me just dump some of these resources. Get rid of those. Is this the resource one? Yes, get rid of those. I'm keeping two meat on me for a specific reason, by the way. Oh, it just disappeared! Oh, what timing! Oh, wait, it's, it's happening, it's happening. Oh, there's so many of them. Whoa, 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 buddy! Companion! Okay. I've never fought a guy with a pole arm before. That's not how you use pole arms, okay. Whoa! Run! Cheese! Cheese! Aha! Okay, this is how I cheese, by the way. I know I'm shameful. If you want to laugh at me in the comments, feel free. But fighting 2v1 is awful. <laughs> I'm not capable of it at the moment. I have to use the power of cheese to succeed. Oh, no. No, no! This is where a bone arrow would be. He's in my house. He's literally in the house now. Okay, there's only two of them left. Back up. We've got to try and get him up again. Is that Nolan Reed? Stop, leave my house alone! I don't know the movesets of these guys, so honestly, I'm a bit scared of this guy. Game says no, everybody. Game says no. Well, I was unfortunately defeated by the guy. He was better than me. I was defeated. He despite the cheese. But I can respawn. I can kick his ass this time. You want to fight me or do you... Wait. Oh, 
I will avenge my fallen state. Enemy down. Okay, so unfortunately, they did manage to loot me. Which means, we got to notifications, they stole my straps. No! They're, you can only get these from killing people, I'm pretty certain. And I can't get them back, by the way. They just immediately teleport them away, so... <laughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. Ah, my loot remains. So, where are the other bodies gone? Oh, there's one here. So we've got some cords, and there's your one there. And an apple. Go! Well, we survived the raid, we got a few kills there. But, uh, at what cost, everybody? At what cost? So before I head off, let's get some wood. And also, I need to cook some food, because, uh, there's reason for this, guys. There's reasons for this. So I need to see basic wood. Ah, perfect, over here. So I'll get... What is it? I need to get three traps, right? So I need to get 15 wood. I probably need, like, an extra four for cooking. So we need to get... Oh! I got an extra resource there. Normally you get three per tree, so I got, like, a plus, plus one from something. That was pretty cool. Let me gather what I need. That should be enough for now. Bring pelt to thing. Okay. Zero in inventory. I have to make sure I get one of those. Luckily, they didn't take all my stuff. Imagine if they stole all the pelts. <laughs> that would have been really annoying. I'll put the uh, extra food I don't need into this chest so that when my friend wakes up, he can get some better materials and stuff. So one of these needs to come with me. And you guys can go and live inside there. Now, if I go and activate this campfire, I can start cooking some food. Which I need to keep an eye on or it might be a problem. But as for now though, let me just start crafting away. And then we can head over to go to the village elder. Yay! Okay, this has been completed. My food... It's not cooked yet! Oh my god, it takes... It does take a while sometimes. So what we could potentially do then... Is... I need to repair my weapons. So it's actually possible just to flat out repair them, so I make a new one. So I can repair my club right away. And I need to get myself free wood and one stone to repair the other thing. I don't know if it scales based on how messed up the thing is. <laughs> I can't really tell you on that one, but I, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so, what was it? Uh, where's the stones going to be the problem? Stones are only in clumps, I've this, so I have to try and find some from somewhere. Stone, where are you? Shame I can't just use these stone walls. <laughs> just take them for my own. I believe that the Italians taking down the Colosseum. They're like, oh, we need the marble. It's not doing anything over here. Crude stone achieved. Perfect. Oh. oh. I don't know why my character said that. <laughs> He's like me in every way. Why does he make these strange noises? Okay, with the simple workbench craft and my new axe, well, my repaired axe, we should head over and get our stuff done. I... I think I need these guys ready. Oh, perfect timing. That was perfect. Oh, okay. So with all this, we can head over to the camp. Now, it is quite the trek. So you probably won't be a uh, surprise and I'll probably skip out the travel times because it's just me walking around, get, trying to get somewhere. But we'll uh, get there hopefully soon. But it will probably be quite dark at the time. So I have to see how that works out. Maybe I should have built myself a torch so we can see the torch graphics. That is kind of tempting, actually, but it's too late. I've already left. We'll get there soon. Hemp! Ooh. I thought I'd grab this now before I forget. So some quests needed two hemp. So if we grab this now, we can do, like, multiple quests in the same trip to the village. I... Ooh. The hemp's a bit hard to find, in my opinion. Mostly because I'm blind. Which means I can't see where it is. <laughs> so you did see what it looked like, right? It's, um, in theory, it should be all over the place. It grows in forests. But honestly, guys, I do struggle finding it most of the time. It actually doesn't map itself. You look out here, the hemp grows in this location. I went there yesterday. There was no hemp at all. So I don't know what was going on there. It was a bit strange. Maybe it's because it was in winter. Maybe it only grows in uh, the summery months. Which is why I'm also trying to get some now before the day ticks over too far. We've literally got four hours left until winter starts, so... Oh, there's a guy over here. Sir, do you have any hemp? Wait, is there a guy over here? Oh, there he is. Hemp? Sorry, I don't have time for chat right now. Oh. 
no hemp. Okay, fair enough. I see how it is. Well, with that, though, I'm pretty sure we are about to enter the village. Dobron. I have good news. I found your resources required. It's a bit foggy right now. It's pretty late at night, so I imagine quite soon we'll switch over towards night mode. And my friend is still collecting wood back at camp, which is pretty cool to see. I can't imagine how this would work when you have like 30 villagers, because the death screen does not be continually filled up with stuff <laughs> the entire time. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not that bad. Okay, let's see. Hello! It's been a while, my friend. Let's talk. You're back. Did you manage to convince him? That's good. Really impressive. Unfortunately, that's not the end. I need something more from you. Shock. You see, we have a problem with wolves. And someone has to take care of them. I got it. Don't worry. You showed me you're true to your word, but I need more to trust you. Will you do it for me or not? I will. I will bring you the wolves' pelts as a trophy. Good day. Unfortunately, I have no. Anything oh, I else? can't do my thing yet, so I can't even summon the coins yet. Fair enough. Don't okay, try so. Stupid. I will try. Sorry, I'm busy. You are in no position to so make such an offer. So you can see we can still try to get some of these people. If I you mean, raise your standing in the village, I will reconsider your offer. So some of these people have some crazy stats. I mean, look at her. Seven crafting oh my god she's a genius now unfortunately we can't get those until we liberate the village which i haven't done yet by the way so i'm looking forward to trying that at some point but we can require probably some Spare other person as I'm well afraid. so let's have a look around i'm hungry petra has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with come and see me once we've had the chance to get to know you you're unfamiliar and we don't do well with that ah, i think i might have to do the kill wolf thing first uh, it's very dark. I do apologize. This is how things are gonna be now. Um, are you new in town? I barely know who you are, and you're asking for my help. Okay, I see how it is. No one wants to help me. Poor little ex Red X. Yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely go and try and kill some stuff first. Uh, what we'd probably do, because it's super dark and I don't think I come through well on the video. I'm just gonna go forward, kill the wolves, and I'll come back. But I'll try and show it a little bit on the camera if it's a cool battle. But it should be pretty straightforward to be honest. They have glowing eyes at night. <laughs> it's like she's got glowing eyes and mouths. Done. Do you guys reckon we can try and like get cows at some point and have our own herd? That could be pretty cool. I've killed the wolves, by the way. I'm pretty sure I showed you the bit with the glowing wolf. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there, but it definitely was uh, a curiosity to say the least. Okay, so I'm back at the village. Hopefully my friend will actually let me be a friend of the village now. Hello! Wait, where's he gone? He's not going to bed, is he? Oh, no! Okay, I have bad news, everyone. The village elder does not work 24 hours a day like I do, and he's gone to bed. So we're going to have to probably wait until he wakes up in the morning. But the good news is, I guess we can very soon witness the power of the season change, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, what is this? Loot offerings. Agility, farming, strength, bread? <gasps> oh, I gotta loot temples more often. Okay, this is amazing. So I can actually increase my own stats then. Yes. What else is in here? More strength books. I found loads of stuff here. Uh, I've been walk waiting around, by the way, until morning starts because I can't talk to anybody. There's no point walking back to camp. It's too far away. <laughs> I'm kind of just waiting around. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff that I can just easily pick back up again. And I'll keep all this stuff with me. Uh, this bread seems amazing. A nice crusty loaf from the bakery. It's making me hungry. get flats from anywhere done yeah I think I should work out pagan shrine do they suffer as we suffer why do I suffer or do they laugh at our plight here are so mighty gods we dedicate ourselves to earning your continued blessing of prosperity we pray your accept whatever we have to offer no matter how meager 
The morning has arrived. Good morning, friend. I have not just spent 20 minutes standing next to a sign. <laughs> no way. That would never happen to me. <laughs> yes. It's morning. They have arrived. Regarding the wolves. Wait, you're back again. Surely you didn't. Yes, I got the pelts from the wolves as requested. They won't be a problem anymore. I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's much appreciated. No worries. Can I continue my investigation? Yes, I suppose you can. Even though I might question your mental state for taking on those wolves, you've shown you're not a danger to us. If anything, I've shown the opposite. Indeed, I can kill wolves. To be more of a danger to yourself. That is also true. Ah, perfect. Excellent. I will get to work then. Anything else? Yes. So at this point, we are now an associate of this village. And also, I can sell him these coins. Which gets me even more trust as well. So at this point, it's kind of a mix between getting more trust and having the renowned capacity to hire people. So at this point, I can hire probably more beggars, which I'm not going to do. Uh, these guys here, these guys absolutely suck. It's customary that you should greet the elder. So if you look at their stats, their maximum is level 2. They're really, really bad. He's also a dullard and a slacker. Basically, don't hire beggars. But we can also hire people in black I heard clothing. The elder has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with some things. You look like you could use some help yourself. So she... Oh, she's awful. Wait a second. <laughs> she has a stat thing of four, right? So better. She can get up to level four. Great. But she's also a pessimist. A coward. <laughs> wow. And this... I think I'm gonna pass. Do all people in black clothing suck? I heard the elder has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with pessimists near sighted. Maybe they do. I didn't notice this before. I just rarely hiring people last night. We're keeping the peace here. I in heard the, the elder has been asking if there is anyone <gasps> who could help him out with some things. You look like you could use some help. Interesting. Okay, so they don't just exclusively suck. Some of them are actually better. So uh Betsy is actually pretty decent. Level 5 shielding, potentially, but she could be like a warrior. Level 5 is pretty good. She's also good at researching and farming. You'll come with me. Okay, she's joined me. Spare a coin for an old soul. Wait, Hungry toss a luck. coin to said. the beggar. No, probably not. I've got to resist the song, resist the song. <laughs> what is happening on the minimap? I've never seen this before. I heard the elder has been asking if there is anyone who could help him out with some things. I can get multiple people. You look like you could use some help yourself. I'll hire her because she literally has no debuffs or buffs, so she's gonna be pretty standing. Harvesting, cooking, crafting, and laboring. Perfect. What is this? Tales untold. I'm super interested in whatever this thing over here is. Oh, it's that lady. She's, uh, we'll talk to her next episode, everybody. Apart from that, though, I think this is going to be today's episode. So, let me quickly explain. I am going to be playing this all day and all of tomorrow morning. But I want to also get a video out for Friday. So, I'm doing this one now, stopping, quickly editing it, uploading it, and then I'm going to spend the rest of the day just playing this game. So, future episodes, I'm not sure if I'll do a regular Let's Play format of it just being one hour a day. Or maybe I'll do some more targeted videos of, like, milestones or stuff. We'll see how the videos do. I will probably try and get, I'll probably get like a good 12 to 16 hours of content though the next day and a half if I play this continually. So we're going to try our best here. Apart from that, everybody, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you next time. Bye.